Hey guys, this is Obadiah here with another installment of TRP3 item creation. Today, I wanted to show you guys the profession I made in Duskwood. I made herbalism through TRP3 extended item creation so that you can actually interact with your environment, collect herbs, and then turn those herbs into resources for both cooking and alchemy. To get started, you gotta make sure that you're in Duskwood itself, as I'm trying to make the entire region interactable. You'll see here in my main inventory, I actually have an herbalist pouch. I made this a container so that you can actually put the herbs inside the container, and that way your main inventory doesn't become convoluted. Inside the herbalist pouch, you'll see that I have an herbalist knife. The herbalist knife is the mainstay of the actual profession itself, and this is the item that will allow you to interact with your world. Right-clicking it will have your character search for herbs on the ground. If you're lucky, you'll get some rare ones. Let's see what happens when Obadiah clicks on it. So you'll see there, it played an animation, moved the camera, and made my character kneel. Looks like I picked up an herb. I got some duskweed. Let's go ahead and hit loot all, and it moves it to my main inventory. Let's go ahead and organize our main inventory by moving these into my actual herbalist pouch. Finally, we can also put this herbalist pouch on our character. Let's go ahead and right click our inventory button to pull up our character pane. You'll see here I have some armor that I've included on my character, as well as a coin satchel that has some money. Let's drag our herbalist pouch over onto our character. If we wanted to be more creative, we can actually click on this little button next to our herbalist pouch and drag it to show it where on our character this actual item is. Furthermore, we can select a sequence ID and even pick a frame from the sequence to really make it immersive. We'll do something like that. Now, whenever I eye over this herbalist pouch, it'll show that uh, item sequence. I've made this item rather versatile too. You'll see here, if I move this pane over here, I target this corpse weed and I kill it, I can actually use this item on the corpse weed. You'll see here, I got some corpse weed and some witch's moss. Let's go ahead and loot it all. And we can move it back into our inventory again. Now, for the meantime, I'm going to put this back into my main inventory, just for the sake of use. I'm going to show you the last item that I made. I made a mortar and pestle. I can actually use this mortar and pestle to grind up the herbs that I found. I put this corpse weed and this dusk weed into the item. If I close it and then right click it, it actually grinds the herbs. I have dusk weed dust and corpse weed dust. That I can probably use for some potions or cooking. But what if you don't know how to actually make the potions or the meals themselves? Well, that's why I made a book as well. This book, right-clicking it, will actually pull up a list of recipes as well as guides that I'm currently working on. Let's go ahead and click on the alchemy and see the recipes. You'll see here, I have the name of the actual potion itself. This one's called a healing tincture. And I have the steps that you need to do to create this. So for step one, we need to use the mortar and pedestal, which is the item that I showed you here. And I need to put these herbs inside the mortar and pestle to make these reagents. Looks like I need witch's moss, peace vine, and banshee wormwood. I need to use them in a mortar and pestle. Furthermore, I need to use an alchemy cauldron, which looks like some water as well as some reagents listed above to create it. Mix a vial of water, witch dust, bruise, peace vine, and banshee blood in the cauldron. Looks like I found some Banshee Wormwood, as well as some Peace Fine. Excellent. Excellent. Obadiah has just made it back to town, and he actually picked up an empty glass vial along the way. He can fill it up here at the actual fountain itself to get a water vial. Perfect. Let's go ahead and head into the tavern, so that we can actually make this potion. I always like making my potions as well as my meals inside the kitchen. Let's head in there now and prep our materials. I know that I still need to grind down the herbs that I found, so let's go ahead and open our herbs, get our mortar and pedestal out, and place these in. Right clicking this should mill them for us. We got our banshee blood, bruise peace fine, and our witch's dust. Perfect. Go ahead and exit out of both of these. 
Now then, I've opened up my alchemy pauldron, it's at the very top. I go ahead and place all the ingredients in. Go ahead and close it up. I'm gonna right click it. There we go, I've created a healing tincture. Go ahead and read it and see what it says. A dark red liquid with a thick consistency fills the vial. Notes of sweet berry, earthy soil, and cinnamon escape from the opening. Quick to allay deep pains and wounds. It looks like it gives us 2 plus health. That's perfect. There you have it. I made a brief profession that has links to other professions inside the game and makes Duskwood a little bit more interactive and really add to your RP. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. And definitely leave a comment in the Discord so I can know where to go next with our uh, establishment of making this area more interactive.